grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And also with you. Amen. Good morning and welcome to our service this morning. And today, we will be using the gifts of music and singing to express ourselves to God. It's been a messy year, as we all know, with the COVID-19, but as Christians, it is part of our faith that we continue to express our gratitude to God, no matter what happens around us, and why that is important. Melody Beatty, his, she said, gratitude turns what we have into enough and more. It turns denial into acceptance, chaos into order, confusion into clarity, it makes sense of our past, brings peace for today, and creates a vision for tomorrow. So as we join to worship this day as a community at Wesley, we acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which Wesley is built. We pay our respects to their elders past, present, and emerging. So our service today will be a lot of singing, and we invite you to sing along with us. That's the whole purpose of this service that we encourage and invite you to sing with us, with us here together. Our call to worship. Praise is due to you, O God, and to you shall vows be performed. To you who answer prayer, to you all flesh shall come. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Answer us with deliverance, O God of our salvation. You are the hope of all the ends of the earth and of the Father's seas. Praise the Maker, praise the Savior, praise the Lord, our everlasting King. Every home must bow before Him. God is Lord of every King. By your strength you establish the mountains, you are girded with might, you silence the roaring of the seas, the rowing of their waves, the tumult of the peoples. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the earth hear his voice. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, let the people First song for this morning, How Shall I Call You, Maker of Heaven, Poet of Sunset, and Painter of Sky.
next song is um, Hand in Hand. When I consider God's design, raging seas and searing sand, I hold my breath, but even more I stand in awe when all creation joins in brace. Let's nicely um, lead us into our prayer of confession. And there is a, a musical response that I invite you uh, to sing along when it comes to that. <clears throat> Let's pray. God of healing, God of wholeness, we bring our brokenness, our sinfulness, our fears and despair and lay them at your feet. Merciful God, forgive us when we are too busy dealing with our own lives, relying on our own ideas and strength, forgetting that sometimes the best healing comes from your creation. given us a world of beauty and we have spoiled it, a world to feed us and so many go hungry, a world of riches and we are unwilling to share, a world to care for 
and we think only of ourselves. Forgive us, gracious God, for those times your heart is saddened by our selfishness. Loving God, draw close to us, embrace us once again in your loving arms, and enable us to follow you in worship and grateful service each day of our lives. Amen. Amen. All right, let us hear the gospel reading uh, for this morning, and uh, Ruth Walter is going to do that for us. Our reading this morning comes from Matthew chapter 13. That same day, Jesus went out of the house and sat beside the sea. Such great crowds gathered around him that he got into a boat and sat there, while the whole crowd stood on the beach. And he told them many things in parables, saying, Listen, a sower went out to sow, and as he sowed, some seeds fell on the path, and the birds came and ate them up. Other seeds fell on rocky ground where they did not have much soil, and they sprang up quickly, since they had no depth of soil. But when the sun rose, they were scorched, and since they had no root, they withered away. Other seeds fell among thorns, and the thorns grew up and choked them. Other seeds fell on good soil and brought forth grain, some a hundredfold, and some sixty, some thirty. Let everyone with ears listen. Hear then the parable of the sower. When anyone hears the word of the kingdom and does not understand it, the evil one comes and snatches away what is sown in the heart. That is what was sown on the path. As for what was on, sown on the rocky ground, this is the one who hears the word and immediately receives it with joy. Yet such a person has no root, but endures only for a while. And when trouble or persecution arises on account of the word, that person immediately falls away. As for what was sown among the thorns, this is the one that hears the word, but the cares of the world and the lure of wealth choke the word, and it yields nothing. But as for what was sown on good soil, this is the one who hears the word and understands it, who bears fruit and yields, in one case a hundredfold, and in another sixty, and in another thirty. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, we belong to you, is our next song.
bulletin for this Sunday, I have shared a, a brief reflection um, of the reading for this morning. There are a series of parables in this section of Matthew's Gospel, and the key to all of these parables for me is the parable which we've heard today, where Jesus said, let anyone with ears listen. And um, I had to look up to see what people say is about listening. Bulletin, and I'll share it with you again. Wisdom is a reward you get for a lifetime of listening when you have preferred to talk. And that's by Doug Larson. One of the most sincere forms of respect is actually listening to what another has to say. Bryant McGill. If you make listening and observation your occupation, you will gain much more than you can by talk. Robert Baden Bold. Listening is a magnetic and strange thing, a creative force. The friends who listen to us are the ones we move toward. When we are listened to, it creates us, makes us unfold and expand. By Gal Meninga. Most of the successful people I've known are the ones who do more listening than talking. Bernard Baruch. Listening is being able to be changed by the other person. Alan Alda. Everything in writing begins with language. Language begins with listening. Jeanette Win Winterson. There is as much wisdom in listening as there is in speaking. And that goes for all relationships, not just romantic ones. Daniel Day Kim. The most important thing in communication is hearing what isn't said. Peter Drummer. When people talk, listen completely. Most people never listen. Ernest Hemingway. Most people do not listen with the intent to understand. They listen with the intent to reply. Stephen Gobi. Friends are those rare people who ask how we are and then wait to hear the answer. Ed Cunningham. The art of conversation lies in listening, Malcolm Forbes. You cannot truly listen to anyone and do anything else at the same time. Scott Beck. We have two ears and one tongue so that we would listen more and talk less. <laughs> Diagnostic. And you may have your own contribution to add to these quotes. In the, but in the spirit of music and singing for this service, I would like to share my own understanding of listening. Every time that we sing harmony at home as our children are learning to sing in harmony, in harmony they often ask, how do you do that? How do you sing in harmony? Um, the musicians might have their experience. They can contribute by answering that question. But my answer is very simple. You can't sing in harmony unless you've heard the other person's or other people's voice. You found your own voice by having heard the voice of others first. Anyway, during these um, unprecedented times, Phone and Zoom conversation are the forms of communication which taken over our relationships and listening is more important than ever as we don't see or feel the emotions of the person on the other end. So how do we live in harmony in times like this? Perhaps deep listening for the needs and the concerns of others. Learning from Jesus through listening to the wisdom of of one another. As Jesus said, let anyone with ears listen. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. I'll let you um, ponder more on uh, the following music. It seems to be the favorite song for today, Graham. Uh, the blind man sat by the road and cried. Maybe there's something related to the readings for today. Oh, no. 
Diocesis. Last week I was, um, I mentioned during our service that there is a whole lot of uh, requirements uh, that the church council and the congregation has to go through uh, in planning of our returns sometimes in the future. And I tell you what, we were more hopeful four or three weeks ago than where we are today. So the main thing is, I just want to say that the, there's a lot going on behind the scene. The church council is uh, monitoring um, the restrictions, the requirements on a monthly basis. And the church council also appointed a small group to look at this document um, and plan our return sometime in the future before it happens. So we wish to let you know that the church council has formed a small team to manage our return to worship including when and how, and at this stage, we don't really know when. As you can imagine, with the increase of restrictions imposed by the state government, there is no intention at this stage to open our doors for worship or for groups. However, we have put in place some important hygienic practices, and I think that's good that as a group here that um, um, providing our service each, each week, uh, we will start by putting those practices in place. Uh, these practices we imagine will become um, commonplace for us all once worship is resumed. And these practices will be started by those who roster for our services each week. And we are grateful to stand for uh, his work in ensuring that the building is ready for our arrival and is as clean as it can possibly be. Um, there will be sanitizers, free standing um, auto hand sanitizers, um, at the exit, uh, so at the ent entry and the exit of the of the building, um, and we encourage you to practice social distancing. Keep 1.5 meter apart. So if you are invited, or if you are rostered um, for our worship on a weekly uh, basis, please enter from the Yarra Street um, and turn right through the doors into the Congregational Hall and. Um, this notice will be in our bulletin for the next four weeks, but I'm just um, highlighting the things that we need to pay attention to. Um, we believe that we may not be gathering for quite a long time yet, so it is very important that we continue to reach out to one another. A phone call, listening, a text message or an email can do wonders for the spirit and mental health of each other. If you are thinking, oh, no. So together we are the body of the church and every one of us is significant. All right, as we are um, moving towards our prayers of intercession, let us sing our next song, Lord, Hear My Brain.
let's pray. God who plants seeds of hope and justice within our lives, we are so grateful for this community of faith and for all, anywhere, who hunger and thirst for your healing, reconciling word. You know all the things that are on our hearts today, and you bring us together in love and support. We ask your healing mercies with those who struggle with illness of every kind, with feeling lost and marginalized, for those who mourn and for whom the darkness of sorrow enshrouds them. We ask your growth-producing love for all those who celebrate and rejoice today. Be with each of us and all those whom we have named in our hearts before you. Loving God, help us to reach out to each other in compassion and support. For we ask these things in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We will walk with you at the edges. We will die with you at the crossroads is our next song. the musicians for um, for their gifts this morning and thank you for um, joining our service this morning I hope you had a good experience and I hope that you find words of comfort and joy in the music that we share this morning the words of our prayers and of course the words from the gospel and as we go from here um, to the world if we can 
May the blessings of God the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you now and forever. Amen. Amen. For you, deep stillness.